Good afternoon, Wolfpack. We're doing a little throwback today. I'm Daron Gandhi. And I'm Angelina Doherty. Today is Wednesday, March 29th, and we're here with your daily announcements. Senior Ball is coming around, is coming around the corner. Tickets for everyone is $85. Guest packets and tickets, tickets can be bought at the student store, and all guest passes are due today. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors will need, a, will need a guest pass in order to attend. Make sure, make sure you're not on the look, no activities list before attending. Are you interested in journalism? All students can apply to write for the Sacramento School B to report on their school and district to make up for the lack of professional educational recorders. All questions can be directed at Steve O'Donohue at SacCityNews at gmail.com. Now we're going to pass it on over to Nisha and Ethan to see what's going on in the world of entertainment. Hello Wolfpack, this is your weekly dose of entertainment. I'm Nisha Samra. And it's your boy Ethan Nguyen. We got some neat stuff for you, for you guys, so let's dive into it. I gotta say a oh, wow for an upcoming movie of Paints, which depicts Owen Wilson as Bob Ross, well, kind of. The character is off of Bob Ross, named Carl. He goes through his journey from being a noble painter to something greater. Makes me want to paint something. You can paint things? Yes, I can. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, the trailer for Pixar's Elemental came out sometime yesterday. It looks very interesting in terms of its style, but if you ask me, I feel like you can kind of look at the plot and just tell. I thought you'd be all over it because it's something animated. I'm kind of not all over it, though. Oh, my bad. Hey, yo, Ash fans, say goodbye to Ash for the upcoming Pokemon series, Horizons, which features two brand new protagonists for you guys to enjoy. Ash, if you're watching this, you will be missed. Now I'm going to have to watch that. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Ethan Nguyen. And I'm Nisha Samra. See, See y'all later, later, Wolfpack. Wolfpack. Thanks, guys. There's an, there's an educational travel experience to Japan in the summer of 2024. Scan the QR code to find the meeting details and register to save your seat on the trip. You can hear all the details, which include itinerary activities, academic opportunities, the cost of the trip, DA, the EFs, risk-free enrollment period at the upcoming informational meeting. Next year, professional culinary arts class is being offered during fifth period. You may take this class even if you've never taken a culinary arts course before. Just talk to your counselor about signing up. Now, let's see what's going on in the, in the world of sports this week. Good morning, Wolfpack. It's me, Jonah Mercado, and welcome back to this week's sports segment. Since my friend Darren Francis is currently missing, I'm going to make this segment of sports as short and to the point as possible. Starting with our school sports, our track team did great at last Saturday's meet at Castro Valley High. Our 4x1 relay teams got 3rd and 4th for men's and women's respectively. Our men's, teams, our men's team also got 4th place in the 4x4 relay as well. For our throwers, sophomore Joseph Garcia got second place in varsity discus with a distance of 123.8. He also got second place in varsity shot put with a distance of 44.10. And since he asked so kindly, sophomore Gordon Yang annihilated his competition in men's so frost soft discus, earning first place with a personal record of 109.6. Great job to our amazing track team. Concluding our school sports, our tennis team has been popping off with a 7-0 record this season being first in the Delta League with 18 wins and 3 losses. And it's not like one person is carrying. The whole team is winning each of their sets with almost no competition. Their next game is tomorrow at Rio del Oro against Jesuit High School. For World Sports, on Tuesday, NFL League owners approved a proposal from the Philadelphia Eagles to allow players to wear the number 0 for the first time in the league. This allows quarterbacks to choose from 0 to 19, defensive backs 0 to 49, tight ends, fullbacks, halfbacks, and wide receivers 0 to 49 and 80 to 89, Linebackers 0 to 59 and 99, while O line and D line get left out with numbers 50 to 79 and 90 to 99. Yesterday, Lionel Messi passed 100 international goals with a hat trick in Argentina's 7 0 win against Curacao. He is currently third overall in the top international goal scorers, 15 behind Portugal's Cristiano Ronaldo, Sui, and 7 behind Iran's Ali Dai. Earlier this month, golf's quadzilla Kurt Kitayama, a former NBA hopeful, won his first PGA Tour victory at the Arnold Palmer Invitational. He won $3.6 million in prize money, doubling his eight-year earnings off of one paycheck. Turning from a basketball player to a golf champion is indeed an unexpected twist into a success story. Speaking of NBA, 
the Sacramento Kings fans are heartbroken after their loss this Monday against the Minnesota Timberwolves, especially after a sudden resurgence in performance and the hope of breaking the longest playoff drought in NBA history of 16 seasons. The amazing chemistry and solid coaching they've had this season was phenomenal to see. They could possibly clinch the chance at playoffs if they win or if two other teams lose, but I personally don't think it's likely. And that wraps, wraps up this week of sports. Me and Darren will be back next week. And back to Daniel and Angelina. Very baller, Jonah. That's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Angelina Doherty. And I'm Darren Gandy. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Vietnam, Vietnam Veterans, Veterans Day, Wolf Pack. Wolfpack.